seconds and counting. Hey, what's good, yo? Welcome back to another video. It's Nish. I'm joined with Roman. And Lovey Smith said something about Brevin Jordan that might intrigue you guys. So Lovey Smith said about Brevin Jordan, I love what he did in year one of being a young football player. He's listed as a tight end, but can play in line. He can move out. It's a tough matchup because he has big wide receiver skills. Just another weapon that we have to use. And to me, my initial thoughts is like, it makes sense. Brevin Jordan is very, very talented. But Roman, what do you think about the statement by Levy Smith? And how do you think the Texans can utilize Brevin Jordan's capabilities on the field? Yeah, I love what he said about Brevin Jordan. Um, I think Brevin Jordan can be a very dynamic and universal type of football player. He, of course, he can be lined up as tight end. Maybe we can put him like as a fullback at times, make him run routes at the backfield. Or, of course, maybe in the slot on like quick little quick little screens. He can be that slot receiver that's able to block maybe either for the receiver that's going to get the ball or the running back. Give me that blocker in the slot. And it's a bigger body. He's, what, 6'2", six 6'3"-ish. Six He's able to be that big body type of guy. And especially in, like, red zone formations, I think we can definitely put him out in the slot. Maybe put him, like, on a quick slant or a quick little out route or maybe even a fade. He's going to be going up against slot cornerbacks, and I'm sure, like, almost nine times out of ten, he's going to be at least have that little bit of a size differential against them. So put him up. But a quick little fade, let him go up there and hit it. And something that's also pretty notable is Brevin Jordan has a 4 6 2 40 time. And Travis Kelsey ran a 4 6 1 40 time. Obviously, he's not no Travis Kelsey. But in terms of speed and I guess like a little bit of explosiveness, he can definitely be similar in the way Kansas City uses him. Of course, Kansas, uh, Kansas City, they line up uh, Travis Kelsey in the slot sometimes. Of course, a tight end sometimes. But the main thing is in the slot. And if we can get him to be that type of player, get him to be that dynamic, get him to be that, I guess, universal in the field, I feel like that would be very, very good for our offense. And that would give Davis Mills a very comfortable type of weapon that he's able to go to, like, whenever he's in trouble, whenever he's about to take a sack or something, just throw it in his direction. Hopefully he can make a play, similar to what Travis Kelsey does for Mahomes. Pep is going to run, like, a two tight end scheme, so it definitely makes sense. They named Farrell Brown the starter or tight end number one. But I think Brevin Jordan was hinting at it like we're going to see what's going to happen with this two tight end set. So you can see him probably in a lot of sets and formations, probably in the red zone, because that's what we, we've been hearing from training camp is that he's been getting involved in red zone targets and things of that nature. And just in general, I think Brevin Jordan, he wasn't the greatest blocker in Miami. I guess he didn't like either put a lot, a lot of effort into it. And with the Texans drafting, I guess it, it's not super consequential. Tegan Kittoriano, who's mainly known for blocking it, I guess it allows the Texans to focus on Brevin's strengths, which are which are his wide receiving skills. He has really decent speed, like you mentioned, the 4 6 40. Good route running, not the best release, but he get good separation with that speed and quickness that we mentioned. So I think, and just as in the slot position, they do have to block for the running back, obviously. So like you mentioned in screens and whatnot, I think him being a tight end, being that bigger body is going to come really helpful in the future. So I'm pretty excited what we'll do with Brevin Jordan. Like I said, in Miami, he was used in a lot of creative ways. They use him in the backfield, actually, in-line slot, and even wide out in Miami's offense. Um, but I don't know if, if he would be best for wide out, but, but the fact that he is he can be so versatile on the offensive end is pretty, pretty helpful. Uh, yeah, you can put him up anywhere. And if you can continue to progress, become a better play, football player, what's stopping him from being the Texans' future number one option? Brandon Cooks, he's... He's getting a little bit older. He's supposed to be out of contract in a couple of years. Um, obviously, he's going to be here for the foreseeable future. But after Brandon Cooks, there's Nico Collins. And then it's basically John Mechie, who's out for the season, and then Brevin Jordan. What's stopping Brevin Jordan from being our vocal point of the offense? That guy, that go-to guy, we can line him up in the slot. Um, of course, as you said, he lined up as wide out in Miami. Obviously, probably not going to do that a lot here, but... I mean, what's stopping him from being our vocal point, trying to find him, trying to set up plays for him, like like many of the other different teams set up plays for their side. And it's like you can think of Mark Andrews, Darren Waller, of course, Travis Kelsey, how I mentioned earlier. 
tight ends can most definitely be a vocal point, and I don't see why Brevin Jordan really can be a vocal point. Let's not forget that Brevin Jordan was a number one tight end coming out of high school a few years ago, and then, of course, all those injuries happened, and then he just wasn't as consistent. But he was the number one tight end coming out of high school for a reason. So he's definitely talented, and he showed it in Miami, and he showed it in his rookie season. So let's hope he can continue to progress, and hopefully let's hope we use him in different ways this season and try to get the best out of him. Yeah, and specifically his like snap count in college, I guess. And most of his snaps came from the slot. 96 out of 189 snaps came from the slot. 65 out of 189 came from inline and 18 from the backfield. So as you can see, there's just so many ways to use Brevin Jordan. I hope he does get a bigger role and he deserves to have one. And this year two draft class is going to be very interesting to watch in this future. I know a lot of people are excited about this rookie draft class, but just seeing the development of Brevin Jordan, Nico Collins, Davis Mills, Roy Lopez, Garrett Wallow, that whole draft class is going to be exciting to watch. So be sure to look out for that. But that's pretty much it for the video. Let us know your thoughts on how Brevin Jordan will be used this season. And as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Thank you all for watching. Peace.